said that you were looking to uh, sue the vice mayor. Oh yeah, absolutely. We're going to be introducing some lawsuits against the city of Charlottesville, the police department, uh, probably the city councilors early in January, early to mid-January. For what? Um, well, for a lot of things, for 1983 civil rights abuse, uh, probably for personal injury violations, also to have uh, the permit that I recently applied for for the anniversary rally reinstated. And so uh, what was that about earlier? I saw that you kind of confronted. I, did, I get a little bit angry because I saw uh, my good friend, uh, Vice Mayor Wes Bellamy, and he's go giving an interview over there. And this guy is he's a criminal. Look, he's a guy who engaged in a conspiracy to violate civil rights of a thousand people or more, along with the rest of the Charlottesville City Council, the chief of police who was installed by West Bellamy, and said, let them fight. It'll make it easier to declare an unlawful assembly. That was in the, uh, the recent independent review investigation. Leslie, a lot of the people here kind of blame you, right? They're calling you a murderer, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, you know, and they would point to like the rights of um, mm. Heather. Mm. Uh, how do you respond to the, to the way that they... Well, this is a communist city, so anybody who's hearing the criticism of these uh, local people, it, it's not the way that normal people would hear things. Also, these people are Antifa. They're out and out Antifa. The city council knows that, and they've apologized to Antifa. They have a role in what happened with Heather Heyer because they surrounded that guy's car during a state of emergency, and they attacked it before he went into the mob. So the blood is on the hands of Antifa.